everybody. Look at this cracking view. Very nice. As you'll have seen by the time lapse, um, there wasn't much sleep had last night, probably about four hours. <laughs> yeah, so I'm tired now. <laughs> but we're going to get up and power through because I'm starving. I've had nothing to eat since the plane last night. Yeah, I'm really hungry as well. Um, so when you're really hungry, where do you go, Chris? Hash House of Gogo, massive Let's portions. Go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fried chicken eggs, Benedict coming up. So yeah, we're going to head there for breakfast. Uh, hopefully we're early enough. It's about half nine, is it? Um, no, we're not it's only nine. It's only nine o'clock, so we can get down. Uh, hopefully there's no queue, because uh, you usually have to wait in there. So yeah, we're heading down um, to the link. Uh, let's go. Yep, we're on, in the shorts of Purvis. That's quite cool in the shade, like, but we need to get into the sun, Jolene. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I always get lost in Planet Hollywood. I always do, yeah. I know, and the same in the Miracle Mile shops. Anytime you go in there, you know, you want to find somewhere, we end up turning the wrong way and having to walk around the whole flipping mile the shops. I think it is. It's, you know, it's not clear. We still haven't worked it out, but hopefully in the 14 days we will, you know. <laughs> yep, it's freezing. So there's the, the horseshoe which we'll have to go in and have a look. Well, there's a lot of work going on here. It's going to be the... Oh, what's his name? <laughs> I've forgotten it. Blake Shelton's country bar. Yes. I'll be well up for that. <laughs> yeah, there, it seems to have a lot of good plans for here. It's really going to lift this part, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I think a lot of the shops had to be closed though, didn't they? Like the bazaar, but I wasn't, didn't really care for that anyway. No. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can still use these crosswalks as well, which is good. Yeah. You can still use these, but there's a lot of working on in there. Don't you love people with a sense of humour? <laughs> so that's a bit of a nuisance uh, because of the work going on at the horseshoe. You have to cross over uh, to like the Bellagio um, to get down to the Cromwell and to the link. Uh, unless, I suppose we could have went on into the horseshoe maybe, I don't know. but. Um, we should have just crossed over straight out to the Planet Hollywood because this is the sunny side of the strip and in the sun it's lovely. Sometimes I'm a sinner, sometimes a saint, sometimes a good man, sometimes I ain't. should have went into the horseshoe and round that way but we yeah. crossed the Bellagio and then took a wrong staircase and then had to go back on ourselves. And, Too good, Ian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, everyone's up there just mobbed, yeah. absolutely mobbed it is, so, but it'll be worth the wait. I caught between the good Lord and the devil himself. Size of bacon lettuce leaf for twelve dollars, and I think this orange juice was eight dollars, but this was only twenty-seven. And it feeds to you, so yeah, looking forward to getting tucked in. Like that is half a half portion. You know, easy. Yeah, it's beautiful. Easily does two people. Oh my word! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, man! 
outside of Hash House to go go there and the food was brilliant but if you're gonna go definitely share something if you're getting one of those Benedicts because yeah. they're massive and um, we didn't even give me my it, yeah. coffee and a go cup. Yeah, no, we didn't even finish that, yeah. like splitting it between two. We really didn't need the extra side of bacon, no. even though it was gorgeous. It was really nice, yeah. It was like marinated in maple syrup and black pepper and all. It was really nice. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was lovely. We didn't need it, yeah. Uh, but you had like three coffees. Well, no, two coffees in there and then. And I got the orange juice, which wasn't $88, but I got to keep the cup, you know. I didn't ask to keep it, I didn't want to keep it, but yeah, you get to keep the cup, so yeah. So we're going to head to our usual Walmart the first full day. Stock up the room bar. Oh yes, room bar needs stock. Got to good fridge. Good size fridge, actually. Yeah, it's quite small. Yeah, it's a good room. Yeah, it's quite small. 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 Yeah, it's quite and try and get like resort credit. I, I said to you in the complaint, she's like, no, no, but we got a good enough I'm not a complainer room. though. No, you're not. <laughs> no, we just sort of grin and burn. Yeah, yeah, make the best of it. But hey, the sun's out at least anyway, so it's a bit warmer on the side of the strip. See you later. So this seems to be the pattern with Caesar's properties. Um, they're all trying to push people to use the express check-ins. It just gives you your card. There's only two people on at the check-in desk. Uh, you have about eight machines here, eight or nine. Uh, but it is always worth um, speaking to someone, of course, trying the old $20 trick. Uh, we done that last night. And actually, he, uh, he gave us a bigger room, but he said he couldn't accept the money, the $20, because they get in trouble for that now. So, and I have heard that uh, certain places have been stopping that, which is a shame, like, you know, because everyone does it, don't they? <laughs> oh, yes, the room bar will be well stocked. God bless America. All right, we've got it well stocked. Uh, went to Walmart there and we spent probably about, uh, it was 100 pound, I think it worked out as. I mean, yeah, it was 130 pounds. dollars, but yeah, and, uh, Great British Pounds was 100. Uh, but like the likes of the Pepsis, you know, they were like $5.40 for 12 tins. You know, for what you'd pay in the strip, even in the vending machines, the bottles, like, you know, $3. Uh, so, and like those Miller Lights, like 15 pound bottles was $16. You know, so as you seen last night, we would take them, and of course uh, that sub, which I can't wait to get into, I love those. Uh, last night, every night we go out, we generally bring a couple of beers with us because the likes of last night, we didn't get any drink service. It's nice to have a couple of beers and see if you go to the bar and spend an eight, nine dollars on a bottle of beer and you can have a Jan tin, you know, but. All right, this is interesting. Jolene's picked up Mountain Dew hard. So it's alcoholic Mountain Dew, 5%. I'm sure this is going to taste wonderful. <laughs> it is actually really nice. Is it? Yeah. Did it just taste like Mountain Dew? Yeah, I'm sure I got more of them. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. All right, folks, uh, we're in a bit of a rush here. We've 15 Are minutes to go to Circus Circus <laughs> for dinner reservations. I've uh, never got changed so fast in my life. <laughs> yeah, the traffic was crazy coming back from Walmart. And then the um, we did get distracted at the Walmart because Chris yeah. discovered there was a big Rosses, and we all know Chris loves a good poke around in Rosses. Oh, yes. Goblin <laughs> boxers. Yep, I'm happy. Happy <laughs> mall. <laughs> but I suppose we should tell you what we're doing tonight. Uh, we're going to Circus Circus. We're going to go to the steakhouse for dinner. Yay, it's been uh, on the list for ages. So I'm finally glad to get down and get trying it. Yeah, looking forward to this. And we'll do a bit of gambling Circus Circus then. I know we slated it last year, but we're going to give Resorts <laughs> World another go. Um, we're we're going to do some gambling. The casino is going to try some of the nice cocktails. We're also going to go to, uh, what is it called? Dog House. Yes, we're going to Dog House. That's the reason we're really come back. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try the country bar in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Julian's all about the country, of course, so I get dragged along. But that's dragged? Fine. You forget my yeah. Don't mind some, but it's all right. Yeah. So, yes, let's go see what we're going up to.
Okay, so the first game we're gonna try in Circus Circus is Huff and More Puff. And we're still hunting that elusive bonus yeah. of any description for myself. Yes, yeah, for Jolene, you know. <laughs> uh, but when I want a Huff and More Puff bonus. Nice buzzsaw mansion feature would be lovely. So let's give it a go. Thanks for nothing, Huff and More Puff. That's another blank. <laughs> yeah, we're going to think these bonuses just don't work. All right, second machine, uh, the good machine from last year, Buffalo Link. Uh, with some great times in this, especially in Mandalay Bay, so let's give it a go. Okay, so you've no idea how much this was needed. Look at the credit, we did. We got the lucky chance spin and got the bonus. We got the bonus on it, unbelievable. And there's $50 in it. <laughs> go on, try it and test it, Buffalo Link. Keeps you sweating to the end. I've done this a few times last year as well. I didn't even notice the fifth day, I was just so happy to get a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> and the drink service here, straight away, straight over to us. And the circus, circus, well done. Yeah. Definitely a better <laughs> class of weirdo down here, definitely. <laughs> Which is a good thing, are the people I like to hang about with. <laughs> Come on. Keep it going, Buffalo, you friggin' Sergi. <laughs> Circus Circus has moved me in Zwona, but I think I'll stay away from her for a while. Yeah, she was a bit of a cow last night. We had a fight. <gasps> oh, one more. Oh, fill her up! Oh, oh last chance the Buffalo Flyster too. Oh, oh that would have been lovely. Don't touch it because oh, ultimate no. firelink last night you made me press the button and I threw it off and never won anything else. Go on Buffalo, love you. dollars on the lucky chance winner spin. It does happen the old time. That's the first time it's happened to us. Yeah? I can't believe that. Yep. <laughs> it's Buffalo Link. And the drinks are around. Oh yes. Cheers. Cheers. And it's good to see Circus Circus still dispenses coins. Darkness is descending in Las Vegas and Circus Circus lights. They're still shining bright, Julian, aren't they? Oh, they're so pretty down here. Yeah, it is still nice, isn't it? Okay, so we're just out of Circus Circus. Uh, went to the steakhouse and we've done a little bit of gambling and we've come out even. <laughs> so that's nice, but. That's alright, isn't it? We'll see you again. Damn right. Let's talk about dinner. Oh, it was really nice. I really enjoyed it. Um, the steaks were brilliant. But what I most enjoyed about it is that, well, not most enjoyed, the food was the best part, but um, I really liked that everything was included in the price. So you knew up front exactly how much it was going to be for everything. So you got uh, bread to start, um, salad, and then. Salad or soup, you got oh, to choose. Oh, salad or soup. Salad we chose or salad. soup, yeah. And then um, your steak and its accompaniments and sauces, everything was all included. Yeah, and your jack of potato side or else your garlic mash, it was all, it was all included, yeah. Yeah. Which is great, you know, because I got well, the 16 ounce ribeye, bone in ribeye, and it was like $80, but that included your bread, your salad, and your side, and all the accompaniments, the sauces and everything. So it was really good. Like the salad for starter, it was just a salad to be honest, it wasn't nothing special. The sides were decent, you know, we're but, not salad but, but, but not, not, <laughs> not compared to Oscars, so Oscars sides were better. But um, it, that place is all about the steak. And it the was, steak was yeah, the star yeah, of the meal, wasn't yeah, it? It was, it was really, the steak really was good. Excellent. Like it, it just fell apart. You know, you, you didn't even have to cut it. Like you just pulled it apart yeah. and it just melted in your mouth and a uh, uh, shout out to the server. The service was excellent. Um, so good. Really, really good. Yeah. Uh, Phoenix. Felix. Felix. His name yeah. was yeah. He was excellent. Really nice. And he came back and thanked us for the tip and everything. Just real nice service in there. And another yeah. massive shout out is the grill master there. 
doing the steaks. That man is a wizard. He's so good, yeah. Like, Wasn't he? <laughs> you can sit and watch him all night. He, he, and I love that because it's right in the middle of the restaurant, yeah. so you can watch him. Yeah, yeah, you can. He's just non-stop, that man. He's cooking salmon, he's cooking lamb chops, he's doing all different steaks, he's cutting the steaks, he's, he's doing everything. And throwing the salt, you know, like that, your man up the, the strip does. And, yeah, I am. <laughs> Charge you a fortune if he's not running after Lionel Messi, you know. But what it all boils down to is, would you go back? And yes, I would. I'd, yeah. I'd happily go back. I'd say it's probably in my top five yeah. of steaks that I've had. Yeah, it was very good. Yeah, yeah well, it was very good. I um, still think Austria's was better, but um, I did really enjoy it. And I would go back because, although the bill was like 200, including tax. Yeah. Uh, and that was with a margarita and a wine. So, yeah. But yeah, I would definitely go back. Very good. But um, it's Onward's something. Onwards to Resort World. Yeah, uh, yes, oh. Onwards to Resort World. <laughs> uh, absolutely. And let's try some nice cocktails. Oh, it's such a shame. Sluts of Fun is dead. And there's nothing here. It's probably the most dead casino in the whole of Las Vegas. I don't know. What, I can't, I, this can't be making money. You know. Well, they say they took the bowling alley out. There's no bars. No, there used to be a subway and all there. There's nothing here. You definitely aren't getting a cocktail server over here. No, no. no I can't. <laughs> no chance of that happening like but yeah it's just very sad because we remember here when it was there's a lot more booming than it was now you know but there's there's nothing even there it used to be a bar there is nothing you know sad Down our last tree. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we we'll come out of Circus Circus and crossed over to the McDonald's, and there was a, a homeless guy doing like Tai Chi in the middle of the road. <laughs> I don't know what that was about, but uh... a lot of drugs is what that was about. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Jolene was like, uh, hurry up, walk faster. <laughs> We've never actually played any slots here because we came here to see Carry Underwood last year. Yeah. And the, you know, the arena and everything is amazing. You know, the acoustics and all, it's just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So... We're going to sign up for a player's card. Yeah, I am done player's cards here, so we'll do that. I think last year too, we were hungry and yeah. we couldn't get any food. And then the, the, well, we eventually got some like chicken nuggets, but... It was a bloody nuisance to get anything done. And we didn't have cards, but this year we're like preloaded cards and that, so. Uh, should be better. Should be better, yeah. We'll wait and see, because last year it just felt like a shopping mall walking through it, but it has picked up and the reports have been a lot better about it in the last the last sort of six I mean, months. People have dead outside, there's quite a few people in. Yeah, no, there's a lot of people in here just outside, it was really quiet. Can't get away from that song, Jolene, can you? <laughs> Even in Las Vegas. <laughs> First game in Resort World is Chica Bonita. We're gonna give this a go, five cent and all, 250 spin. Uh, we wanted to play us for a while, because you think that uh, she looks like somebody. Oh yeah, uh, Michelle Ryan. Who, if you don't know who that is, she was Kat Slater's daughter in um, EastEnders. All right, about three people probably got that, Jolene, maybe five, but... She definitely looks like her, though. She does, I don't know. That was ages ago she was in EastEnders. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant, right? We'll see what happens. Michelle Ryan. Okay, nothing from Chica Manita, but we're on Epic Fortunes. Um, we've just hit the holding spin. Did we hit this in $2 or $1, Jolene? Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember either. <laughs> anyway. Oh, the $1. $1. Yeah. Because we're on two cent denomination. Yeah. Two times, and I hit there. Yeah. Come on. Uh, oh, five times? There you go. Nice. 
Echo 3 spins. Oh, two times. This game has potential. Of course, yeah. Five times. Five Come times. on. each other. I'm gonna try some of them good cocktails in the menu. But yeah, we'll get anything else we'll be back. Alright, we'll change over to this little guy, Par Peach. Oh what the hell? Press? What the hell? We're doing five cent and all 150 spin on this one. And how do these work? The two, three and five? Keep her going. Haha. <laughs> Cocktail waitress has been round. We got our drinks. Happy days. And yeah, what I like to put here is glassware. Yeah, you get glasses. Yeah. <laughs> no plastic cups here. Ah, done with this. Five times. $78. Yeehaw! Ride him, cowboy! Alright, we're back on. It's a 250 a spin, sorry. Um, five cents and all. So, there you go, Jolene. Take it away. Yeah, let's go. It's giving us a game. Plenty of line hits in this. And I think it's the same makers of uh, Alderman Farling. I mean, all the sounds are similar. Oh, yeah. Come on, give us, give us a minor 250. Come on. Minis 50. Major almost maxed out, 997. Come on. I'll hit the last one. Five times. All three times. Right, fifty five bucks or something, roughly. Giving us a game, a couple of bonuses, keeping us in it. I was about to hit it. Oh, I was so close. There you are. It takes us back over the 100 anyway. Press up a bit because about two minutes before we started playing this game, he was sitting with his head in his top. Yeah, pocket you can probably <laughs> hear all day the, the the lack of enthusiasm in my side of my voice. I'm just quite sick with this cold and jet lag, and I'm so tired. But I'm trying to keep going. Um, beer actually helps, to be honest. <laughs> it does give you a kick. But uh, yeah, we'll keep it up. See what happens. And we're back on again. Had a couple of line hits there. We're down to like 20 bucks from our 110. But uh, yeah, 999 major. Come on, come on. Thinking positive thoughts here. <laughs> and for another drink is on the way, which is always good. My bad luck, Julie. Why is it not hidden? Go on, you hit it. Do not be done with it. Do not, yes. <laughs> Thank goodness. We're just saying for 250 a spin, five cent and all. You know, like, 
50, 50, yeah, fifty dollars and seventy dollars. They're not really great. Like when you're playing the likes of Lightning Links and that, you know, you're getting maybe 200, 300 plus bonuses. But I suppose maybe they're more plentiful. I, I don't know. But the line hits, at least you get these line hits in this. Yeah. Come on, come on. Fill it up for the 13,973. Well, the good thing is we got all four of the flashy ones. <coughs> That's true. Come on, last spin. Yes. Oh, it was there. Come on. Come on. That'll woke me up alright. Come oh, on, five times. Oh, I thought that was it. <laughs> no, it goes three and then back to two. Yeah, again, it's not great. $78, but anyway, still. Keeps it in it. Does. And another bonus. <laughs> Crappy numbers, but oh, right across. So try and get these in the middle. Let's go. I love the suspense of the last ball. It really makes you think you're gonna win that. You know, you're gonna win the mega. It's like, I wish. Yep, keep her going. Come on, some big numbers. Come on. Oh, so small. That's what she said. <laughs> I thought it was what you said, though. <laughs> Come on. Come on, two here, two here. Woo! I left this about 160. Going well here at Resorts World, I have to say. It's winning back our trust. <laughs> oh, we just needed three more balls, and that's really major at a 50 or a 20. So I'm assuming that rotates and then gives you the 20, of course. All right, the majors just had a thousand. So let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Positive thoughts, people. Positive thoughts. And Jolene was just offered a massage. You know, it's like, no, I'm too tense playing this. It is. I'm just sitting here, and it's like, you want a massage? What? She has this pillow that has all these land cards on the back of it, like that makes it fit in. In this case, they are getting a massage out playing slots. You know, you know, you're in luxury. It's a machine that keeps on giving. Oh yes, okay. Oh no, he's gonna do it again. Oh nice. Oh, go ahead. Eight and ten times on these ones. Holy shit. Oh come on. Oh yeah, like ten. Right, times. let's fill them up. Come on. Let's fill them up and then throw the major down. <laughs> I love this machine. I hate it. I hate this machine. <laughs> Come on. Ah, there we go. Our fifty-eight dollars keeps us playing. We're chasing this major, people. We're fucking chasing it. Get the minor too. Throw it all in there. And another, another bonus. So Are all you all sick of this shit? I worked it out. Um, if there's a, flat, a flame around the circle, it makes the multiplier thing come up. And we didn't get any this time, of course. That doesn't matter because the major's going to fall in. <laughs> so don't worry about the multiplier. I seen it. I seen it. Yep. Go by. 
here it comes. Nope. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Come on. Come on. You know you're there. Ah, uh, come on. Hello. Are you there? Ah, <laughs> uh, 125, sir. <laughs> Come on, fill it up. Ah, well. Tell some other bonus. but I know it keeps you on this bonus but you can't walk away with a thousand major you know when the machine's playing you know it seems to be we get to about 170 we get down about 90 to 100 and then we keep getting the bonus so we just want to keep it going because you may as well when, when the major's at a thousand just let's try and win it it's not maxed out though because it's still counting it's up still counting up even better you know but <laughs> take the mega even, even a minor in there would be nice you know but yeah, we're gonna keep chasing it. And literally five spins later, we get another bonus with the flaming red balls. <laughs> there we go. Oh, another one. Woo Holy shit, a full screen. Oh shit. Oh my God. I'm hitting some of these. Come on. Well, it's only good if you get a ball. Yes. Oh wow, what a screen that is if it spells up. Fill it up. Fill it up, come on. We are being greedy. Come on, give us more. Yes. Come on, yes. <laughs> come on. Really enjoying this tonight, I have to say. Yes. <laughs> and the volume just went up everywhere. Oh, yes. Oh, one. They're the highest ones too. Oh, yes, you're eight and you're ten, yeah. Come on. So if a major went then there'll be two, three or five times a major. Yeah. Oh, oh well. <laughs> Come on. Five times. Five times. Oh my goodness. Eight times. Oh, this could be really good. Because that guy put 100 in beside us and gambled it away in three seconds. <laughs> He's giving us all his money. Three times, lovely. Come on down there, it could be something. Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> Eight times. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> what the hell? I have no idea how much that is. <laughs> three hundred dollars. Epic win, baby! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it is. You're right, this machine did have potential, Julie. You kept saying it. So that's a nice, nice win there. And we're gonna cash this out and put. What do you mean? I'm enjoying this. I can smell more than I thought it was. Yeah, so we were up over a hundred in it. Brilliant. Epic fortunes. Excellent resorts world. Awesome. Alright, Jolene thinks the machine's drying up a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're at 422. So we're gonna cash out at 400. Uh, we were thinking about chasing the hand pay, but the fact that we're in resorts world and that I don't think it'd do your item number and all that and you, you wouldn't actually get the hand pay and you'd be taxed. But we're an MGM property, well maybe we chase this. But we can't, if a cash out 400, i will be happy with that. But we're gonna do uh, four or five dollar spins. Um, we'll see what happens.
Ooh. Last one. Not even a line hit. Oh well, that was really fun. I have to say, Epic Fortunes, brilliant game. Really, really enjoyed it. And I'll be back to this quite a bit during the holiday, I'm sure. Now check out these for toilets, eh? This is a bathroom! <laughs> it's like a nightclub. You could literally have a rave in here. I friggin' love it. <laughs> so cool. Alright, come over to Dots and Drums Explosion, 188 a bet, 188, sorry a bet, um, just had a $64 line hit, so yep, let's keep going with this. Okay, we we'll just hit the bonus, uh, Julian will have to film this because it's massive. <laughs> Alright, go for Straight down the middle, I yeah. like it. Mr. Conservative here. Come on, baby. Eight oh, let's go. Come on. Nothing there. Yeah, We're actually good. really enjoying Resorts World today. Really am. Um, it's yeah. so good. So different from the last time we were here last year. Yeah. So if anyone hasn't been in a while, definitely. It's changed up its vibe. It's a lot more party on. That was horrendous. Yeah, that was a ship. Twenty dollars. You got more than a line hat. I did. <laughs> I didn't even realize it was over. <laughs> I know. See, I'm really enjoying this world. Twelve here, have this. Four dance spins. That's it. But we are. We uh, have to say the casino really like the casino in the sports world. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. That's good. Okay, be back if we get anything else. Yeah. Julian's got back to her childhood drinking Capri Suns, but they weren't Capri Suns like this when you were at school, were they? No, but I do love a gimmick and I'm all about it, so yeah. that's why I got this. Uh, you were roped right in. Uh, $8. So, <laughs> no way. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Oh shit. What's the, what alcohol's in it? Um, I don't know. It's 6%. 6%, so. 6 Capri Suns. I think you should be mandatory for all kids to be sent this to school. It would just be crazy. <laughs> Teachers would just give up, wouldn't they? Um, anyway, Jolene's bought a drink and I'm told I have to bet a certain amount through the machine and a light, and will, a light come will come on, on and so then I'll get a free comp that drink. That could actually be Chris's biggest gamble on the trip because I did offer to buy him a beer and he was like, no, no, I'll play this and see if I get a comp drink. I said, well, I'm <laughs> curious what I play it. I don't even know what the game is, but I'll, I'll give it a go. <laughs> well, Jolene hates him and Chris is right. He put 15 in the machine, he's up to 17, 15 he got his beer <laughs> after about four spins. <laughs> Love it. But this is really nice. It is just like cat reason. <laughs> We just come out of Resorts World, just exactly the time to look Brian fans were getting out, so lucky we just booked a lift. Just before they come out. <laughs> yeah, just in time. So Lars is on its way. Yeah, it should be here. Yeah. I remember coming here actually when we were here at the last concert. You know. But um yeah, really good nights in Resorts World, I have to say. Really enjoyed it. Oh, so we're heading back early. Well, it's not that early actually, it's Early to some people. <laughs> well, yeah, 20 to 11. Yeah. But we've got an early start tomorrow because um, our friends, Kevin and Curtis, are going to pick yep. us up and take us off strip for an adventure tomorrow. Yeah. So yeah. we're looking forward to that. Yeah, that's going to be good, yeah. Get to see some off strip hotels that we generally wouldn't see, you know. So that's, that's very nice of them to come and pick us up and take us out to there. So yeah, looking forward to that. Yeah. So if you want to see what we'll get up to tomorrow, follow along. Yeah, see you tomorrow. <laughs>